Welcome to XAB.com. For this Forex preview, we'll be having a closer look at U.S. CPI numbers for October out on Wednesday. I'm Christina Marujos. Joining me today is Senior Investment Analyst Mario Sechikiriakos. We've heard the Fed insisting that this inflationary episode we're currently seeing is transitory, but markets don't appear to completely agree with this sentiment. Therefore, what are we likely to see in the report? Hello, Christina. It's definitely going to be a very interesting report. So forecasts suggest we're likely to see the annual CPI rate jump to 5.8% in October, but the risks surrounding that forecast might even be tilted to the upside. We could see a positive surprise. And I say that because of what the latest business surveys have shown. So specifically, the market PMIs for the month showed that companies raised their selling prices at the fastest rate on record. And something similar was shown in the ISM surveys as well. So there could be a positive surprise, but the most important part for the markets will be whether this is still about supply chains and energy prices or whether inflationary pressures are starting to broaden out. So it started as a supply shock, but lately we are seeing signs that this is broadening out. Companies are passing costs down to consumers, rents are starting to fire up, and wages are accelerating. And the question is, does this continue? That will determine how aggressive the Fed will be next year with rate increases. And what about the dollar? We saw it come under pressure earlier in the week. Can higher inflation numbers help the currency bounce back? Yes, I believe so. So we've seen the dollar a little softer this week. Most of that comes back to the euphoria in the stock market, I think. But if we do see a positive surprise in inflation, and most importantly, if inflationary pressures start broadening out into rents, for example, then that could really reignite the rally. As markets become more confident that the Fed is going to raise interest rates at least twice next year. Now, in the bigger picture, I still think that the outlook for the dollar is positive. The U.S. economy is in pretty good shape when you consider the chaos in supply chains. Consumption has been resilient. Lost jobs are coming back quickly and it seems like we are going to get stronger economic growth in the final quarter. And of course, Congress is bringing more spending to this party as well. So when you compare all of that to the weakness that we've seen lately in Europe and in China, then it looks like the US economy is probably going to outperform moving forward. And therefore, I still think that the outlook for the dollar remains positive. Marius, thank you for joining me today. This was a Forex preview on the U.S. CPI numbers for October out on Wednesday. Thanks for watching at XM.com.